Which one was managing the border better? I think Joe Biden. I will justify that. I will justify it. Please. Economically, when an immigrant comes to this country, even an illegal immigrant, even someone who does not have high level, high earning skills, they contribute more to the economy as a whole than they take away. They contribute to fixed expenses like the military. They provide more into social benefits than they take. And if we're talking about issues with like job scarcity, what we actually have is an issue with job distribution and the way our systems are set up to take advantage of poor Got working it. class Americans. So, so do you believe in borders at all? Um, I believe that practically, yes. I believe that there does need to be major reform in the way we deal with borders. I, I, I just want to make sure you understand, how many people do you think are coming across the border every day? I do not have the exact numbers on that, yes. but I think it's a reasonable amount. Um, I'd probably say in the thousands, tens of thousands. Yeah, 10 to 15,000 a day. So to put that annualized, that's 3.65 million a year minimum, sure. right? That is the population more than some U.S. states. You're saying it's all a benefit. First of all, tell that to the family of Lake and Riley, okay? <laughs> secondly, <laughs> secondly, I asked you a question. Who was managing the border better? We don't have a border under Biden. You arrive, you're in. We've gotten rid of DNA that, testing. That is just not true. Hold on a second. How many people are being turned away at the border? Are we doing DNA testing, background checks? But you mean like turned away at the border? Lots of people are turned away in the border. Immigrating who? to the U.S. legally, like the majority Hold of on, people no, no. don't if have visas. If you, if you show up in Ciudad Juarez at the other side of El Paso and you claim asylum, welcome, buddy. You get a free ticket to the interior United States, cell phone, benefits, social security number, and you are now in the United States of America despite breaking the laws. And that's fine. We just have a different opinion on this. I just I find it so interesting of someone who's trying to like justify the breaking coming into our country and the breaking of our laws, but. I, I, for, you have for, a right to that opinion. So. No, no, no. I don't think it's an opinion. I, I don't necessarily know like where you're getting these statistics, but I don't think Joe Biden is just like, come on in. Like everyone's opened the border. No, he this absolutely, fact, he absolutely did that. No, he has not. He has not been like that. And that and, yeah, and, yes, and, and more than that, what actually we need when we're talking about immigration reform, we need to make immigration more accessible for legal immigration. No, how about this? Or we need to put our own U.S. citizens first ahead of foreigners. <laughs> yeah? Isn't the whole idea of a government that the, U the citizens of the country should come above the citizens of another country? Uni United States citizens, we are immigrants. I, like, hold on, no, 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 hold on a second. Our, a second. Some are immigrants here. Some are descendants of settlers. Settlers and immigrants are two different things. Settlers come to a barren land and build something new. Immigrants come to a country that's already barren? built. Barren? Yeah, barren. Like, okay. I don't know, Plymouth Rock. Okay, I, I won't get into that. I, I, you know what, I'll let more questions get. No, so but no, I, I, I appreciate okay. the clarity. I guess you can have the film that's kind of people are still. The other guy is the right wing, the more progressive guy. Like, you want to go to the border and stuff. But it's kind of weird if Biden just accepts anyone that comes to the border. It's, it's not safe for the country and for the people. So I guess why Chad is saying they should be um, you know, it doesn't affect because if you just like them, what they want to eat and you just um, pretend to like it, and other citizens are like, less privileged to get to the store. And I, I really don't know how to explain it, but I'll just try to work more with this concern and immigration to get more understanding about it. Because I, I love our respect for the way, and the other guy, I go to